Hello, today we're going to talk about Faber Castell. Yes, so today we're, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite artists, one of my favorite brand in artist material, uh, and it's Faber Castell, and it is a very famous company as well. Yeah, so I thought I'm quite interested in talking about it today. So I tried to look around a little bit in the internet and apparently they're having their 250th anniversary on, in 2011 and the company was established in 1761. Amazing isn't it? It's ongoing for like 250 years. So, so yeah and there's this really interesting anniversary website and the uh, URL is 250. 250.faber-castle.com and yeah I've been looking around that site to find some things I read a lot about the history and uh, and I well I look around the site basically and I found some really interesting stuff Faber Castle uh, is a brand that's been carried on for generations and generations and the first generation of the Faber Castell company is actually a man called Kaspar Faber. He's actually a cabinet maker, but he also produces some pencil on his own account. And apparently, the business got really good, and he made his own company. And he and the company is still ongoing until now. Wow, amazing! <laughs> so yeah, it's like that. So his son will take over the company and then the his son of his son will take over of the company and so forth it goes on like that um, but the, the one who's responsible for like responsible for establishing the branches of the Faber Castle brand at the time it was called A.W. Faber and it stands for Anton Wilhelm Faber is the fourth generation Lothar van Faber. He's um, the one who got uh, so many new ideas and expanded the company very big into a, into this very big company and expanded outside of the country, throughout Europe and also to the United States. So yes, so it any made the working conditions in the factory better and some new ways to produce the uh, pencils and so forth. AW Faber is like the oldest uh, brand name in the USA, in the US now, and I never knew that, and I thought that was quite interesting. Oh, and a little bit about the story, about why the name is now Faber Castle, because or, of course, like what I said before, the name is originally uh, A.W. Faber, and, and the story is that because at one time, uh, there was no heir to the Faber family, and there was only an heiress. The heiress married Count Alexander zu Castel, and so they got married. But in the will of Lothar van Faber, it's written that that the heiress must always keep the family name. But they kept the cast, they kept the Faber name, and they kept the Castel name, and the name is like merged together. The company's name is also merged together to be called, as we know now, it's called Faber Castle. Uh, I find it quite interesting. Uh, the company is run by the generation for a really long time and it's good that they can keep it so I think it's really good. Uh, and about the product, I really like uh, watercolor pencil and that is one of my favorite media to use for drawing. The reason I like it is because it's because it's really easy to use. Because I really, personally, I really like to layer colors. For example, you make some blue shading on a paper with a pencil, and then you add a little bit of yellow over it, and they will turn kind of green. So I like mixing by layering colors, and this technique is kind of good with using the watercolor pencil, with using pencils. Uh, because if it's paint, it's going to be um, a bit too... If you use like thick paint, like acrylic paint, 
or something it will be uh, the color will just uh, go over each other and they won't blend and if you use like watercolor it'll be too red you can't put one color over another because it will just become and it'll just become the water again easy because you don't have to blend the colors in the palette like when you do with paint and you could use it just like a pencil and then and it's easy of course like drawing with the usual pencil but it's in color and then you could brush it with water and make and give this watercolor effect of it and it's really I thought it's really it's amazing it's really good I really like it so much and yeah, it's one of my favorite and I really like the Faber Castell brand because it's really easy to use they have really nice colors and it's very vibrant and it's not dull because sometimes you could find some dull a colored pencil or watercolor pencil as well but this one is really vibrant and it's really easy to use because it's really soft and it's really easy to like blend the colors sometimes they're a bit too I don't know hard or stiff or hard to use and yeah and I really like to give that watercolor effect especially it's really easy to do. so yeah that's about one of my favorite brands of course it's my personal favorite if there's any other uh, favorite brands of yourself, please um, tell me more about it in the comment below. And if you have your own personal favorite uh, drawing media, and like for me it's the watercolor pencil. If there's anything you like, please comment below as well. And see you next week with another different topic then. Bye bye. I have at the moment it's not, it's not that much, but I kind of like it. And it's like these these blue ones and it's uh it's written on the side it's art rep 